Hello everyone and welcome to Fun to be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun to be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Disney's Polynesian Resort, where Disney magic meets South Seas Tropical Paradise. Disney's Polynesian Resort Village is a deluxe hotel located at the Walt Disney World Resort. It is situated on the southern shore of the man-made Seven Seas Lagoon, south of the Magic Kingdom. The resort is organized around a central building named the Great Ceremonial House, itself designed after a Tahitian Royal Assembly Lodge. The resort has a South Seas theme and includes Disney's Polynesian Villas and Bungalows, an on-site Disney Vacation Club. Disney's Polynesian Village Resort has the Bora Bora bungalows that sit on the Seven Seas Lagoon. There's the Polynesian East Pool and the Lava Pool. Monorail, highway, in the sky. There are two monorail beamways that circle Seven Seas Lagoon. The resort monorail beamway travels to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, the Magic Kingdom, Disney's Contemporary Resort, and the Transportation and Ticket Center. And the outer beamway is the express monorail that goes to the Magic Kingdom and the Transportation and Ticket Center. Let's go check out the Walt Disney World bus transportation just up ahead. At the moment, bus transportation is provided to the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, and the Disney Water Parks. Located just around the corner from the bus stop, is the guest laundry facility. Through that door are the washing machines. And here's Lilo's Playhouse, just over to the left-hand side. In the same building as the guest laundry, it's a little noisy here near the main entrance due to all the construction. The main lobby entrance to the Great Ceremonial House is not accessible at the moment. The Pago Pago building is currently being utilized for a temporary lobby. Let's go inside and take a peek at the Pago Pago Lobby. And here's the interior of the temporary Pago Pago Lobby. We're just looking down the hallway here. And here's a wall sconce, themed to a tiki. There's the room door entry and the room number plaque. Now let's go see the Polynesian East Pool. And here's the Polynesian East Pool with the shaded cabanas just in the background. Check out this tiki A-frame structure here at the pool area. There's the Oasis, and just over to the right-hand side is the Oasis Grill. Let's take a quick look at the bar area. Let's take a look at the menu offerings here. The Oasis Bar and Grill has a few specialty cocktails, like the Back Scratcher, the Polynesian Mai Tai, and the Ultimate Long Island Iced Tea. Here's another look at this restful and relaxing pool area. Now let's head over to the health club. The health club is located just down this pathway here, down at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. There's even a running trail that leads all the way over to the Grand Floridian. Now let's head over to Luau Cove and go take a look at Disney's Spirit of Aloha Dinner Show Theater. And here's the theater for Disney's Spirit of Aloha Dinner Show. It's too bad, but Disney's Spirit of Aloha Dinner Show is temporarily unavailable. The Tonga buildings directly behind me. Fiji's off to the left. If you look up ahead, you could just catch a glimpse of the Cinderella Castle spires. Here's the marina where you could go bass fishing. And over to the right hand side is the lava pool. There's tiki spread all over this resort. 
Normally the Seven Seas Marina would be open for fishing excursions and boat rentals, but at the moment it's temporarily unavailable. And here's the water launch to the Magic Kingdom Park in Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Here's the dock that heads down to the water launch. There are the resort guests unloading from the Mariner. Up ahead are the Bora Bora bungalows. There's the Mariner headed off to the Magic Kingdom shortly. There's the Seven Seas Lagoon Marina. Here at the White Sand Beach you can take a nap in the hammock or play a game of cornhole just on the shores of Seven Seas Lagoon. Resort activities include movie under the stars. Here's a fire pit for the cozy evenings while you take in breathtaking views of Cinderella Castle. You could take a relaxing swing with your companion or even play a game of volleyball here in the White Sand Beach just overlooking the Bora Bora bungalows. This pathway here takes us to an overlook where we could take in views of the Bora Bora bungalows and Seven Seas Lagoon down below. That's pretty cool. You could walk down the wooden dock to your floating bungalow. If you follow this pathway down and around the corner to the left, it'll take you over to the Transportation and Ticket Center where you could board a monorail or even a ferry boat over to the Magic Kingdom. And here's that pathway that heads over to the Transportation and Ticket Center. And here's the entrance to the Tokelau building. Let's go through these double doors and check out the furniture. Inside is this awesome mid-century modern furniture. And here's the sitting area on the opposite side. Here's what would normally be the front door to the main lobby. But at the moment, it's emergency exit only. Please pardon our appearance. This area is being refurbished for your future enjoyment. And here's a hidden Mickey in the stone down below. Aloha! Here's Maui. Here at the Great Ceremonial House, this is where guest services is located. Throughout the lobby are sitting areas for you and your family and friends. Here's a stylized map of the Polynesian village. Just on the opposite side of guest services is the Boo Tiki, the gift shop here. Let's go inside and see if they have any resort specific merchandise. Yes, they do. They have some tiki mugs and this nice photo frame just down below. Let's see how much this is. And it's $24.99. On the back side, they have this Trader Sam's tiki mug. Let's see how much it is. And it's $22.99. And look at this Tiki. He looks fun and fancy free. They also offer various island inspired chocolates and cookies with Mickey on them. Boutique offers various exclusive resort specific merchandise. Look at this cute island inspired dress. Let's see how much it is. And it's $69.99. Look at this Tiki statue here. Mahalo. There's exclusive merchandise everywhere I look here. Look at this tiki themed artwork. Let's take one more quick look before we go out the exit doors here. There's Annette Funicello and just below is Huey, Dewey and Louie. There's Walt and Lillian Disney vacationing in a tropical island paradise. Here's various historical artifacts of the Polynesian Village Resort. And just down below is Minnie Mouse. And here's Captain Cook's. Let's go inside and take a look. Let's take a look at the menu items they have to offer. This quick service dining location offers a few Polynesian favorites like an Aloha pork sandwich, a Thai coconut meatballs, and a pan Asian noodles and vegetables. And here's the mobile order pickup area. Here's a look at the interior dining room with tropical island artwork adorning the walls. Located on the right hand side just down this narrow hallway is one of Walt Disney World Resort's true hidden gems. And it's Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. As it turns out, Trader Sam's Grog Grotto is temporarily unavailable. 
Now let's reverse our direction. Around the corner from guest services are the elevators. Let's go up to the second floor. Take a look at the large vaulted ceilings in the atriums, along with the assortment of tiki lamps. And just below, there's Maui. Behind the construction walls here would be normally a monorail entrance. Just through those double doors down below is the pineapple lanai and the lava pool. But we'll go check that out in a moment. And here's Kona Island. Kona Island is not operating at the moment. Down below is guest services and the elevators. And on the opposite side is the boutique gift shop. And here's a quick look at the Kona Cafe. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. This table service dining experience offers a few entrees, like Kona chicken stir fry, a mahi bacon lettuce and tomato, a duck fried rice with leg confit, and a steak salad. Up here on the second floor is the reception and waiting area for Ohana. And here's the Tambu Lounge, just over to the left hand side. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. Tambu Lounge in the Great Ceremonial House offers specialty cocktails like a back scratcher, a Polynesian Mai Tai, an ultimate Long Island iced tea, a puka punch, and a lapu lapu. Just around the corner is Ohana. Let's take a quick look at the dining area. Sadly, Ohana is temporarily unavailable. Now let's head down these steps, down to the lobby level. Directly behind me is Maui, but we're gonna head out these double doors here. Here are those double doors that we just came through, and just over to the right hand side is the pineapple lanai. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. This extremely popular window offers desserts like a Dole Whip soft serve, a Dole Whip soft serve souvenir tiki bowl, a Dole Whip with rum floater, a pineapple float, and also the pineapple float souvenir tiki sipper. Here's this nice area where they have movie under the stars. Just up ahead is an entrance into the great ceremonial house and over to the right hand side is Captain Cook's. Captain Cook's is over to the left hand side, but here's Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace. Unfortunately, Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace is temporarily unavailable. Here's this nice waterfall where you can enjoy views of the Seven Seas Lagoon. On the second story is Ohana. Just down below is the lava pool. Let's go check that out. And here's the lava pool with its zero depth entry and the great ceremonial house off in the distance. And here's the Kiki Tiki's Splash Play for the Junior Explorers. Here's another look at the splash pad with its zero depth entry and it's water slide just over to the right hand side. And there's the volcano with the water slide at the top. Let's head up these steps here to the top of the volcano. There's the pathway that heads up. Here's the pathway that leads to the water slide. Take a look how relaxing and refreshing this pool is. Here we are at the top of the volcano. Here's the top of the water slide. Just wait for the green light. And here's the water slide from all the way at the top of the volcano. Look at all the resort guests chilling out at the pool. Here's another look at the lava pool with the Seven Seas Lagoon off in the distance. There's even an infinity spa for the grown up explorers. Overhead is the volcano, and just down below is the barefoot pool bar. Now let's see the menu offerings. This location offers barefoot specialty cocktails like the banana cabana, the captain's mai tai, the strawberry margarita, the frozen margarita with dole whip lime, and a frosé. You could even play a game of table tennis and just off in the distance there's connect four just outside the restrooms here. Now it's time to head back near the main entrance where the construction area is. 
we're back near the main entrance again. Prepare to fast forward through time and space. Here we are, near the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Polynesian Village Resort just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.